Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at koala effects. Yes, yes. So here it is. Um, I'll just take that out there. Actually, I'm going to start. I'm going to start with this one. So koala effects is a multi effects, as you might have guessed. It's super simple to use this. Um, you have 16 effects that you can use, uh, you know, on their own or together. Um, it's very, very creative. Uh, the, the developers has been really good with this because you can't go in and, and control independent parameters of each effect uh, because that would take up too much space. Uh, the idea here, obviously, is to give you quick lo-fi kind of effects. Lo-fi, this is it. When it says creative lo-fi effects, that's the, the App Store description of the, of the effect. It, it does do lo-fi very well, but it's not just lo-fi. It is really cool. So I have got uh, some wave, uh, some wave files here, uh, some you know, and then a noir. So all together, uh, actually, let's do this. Let's just go with uh, playing the thing without koala added. Okay, so. Without koala, add koala added, it all sounds like this. Pretty cool, eh? So, is it buffering for anybody else? Is it, is it buffering for anybody else? It's just you, Stephen. <laughs> uh, if it is... Okay, he's not here neither. Okay, so it doesn't appear to be... Right, okay, brilliant, thank you. <clears throat> so you, you, what we're going to do is solo this one here. We'll solo it, and then I'll run through the effect, which is very, very cool. So, so this is just like a, 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 a bass line put the effect in and you'll see that there's nothing going on and for each of these effects you have up to eight scenes and then you have an XY pad that you can blend between all of the effects <clears throat> but it will only blend between the ones that are turned on sort of thing so you're not messing up your system too much and then you've got all these different scenes and then you can reset the order of any of the effects just by doing that And then you have a master volume. I'll put the dub take delay on without hold on look. You won't really hear that because it's too rhythmic. So we'll try the uh, talk box. Well, if I. let go it goes away unless I have hold on but the compressor is the best thing Reverb. You 
can almost play the cone. Stutter. No, you didn't, Sam, no. Filter. Low pass. Into high pass. Leave it on dirty. Let's go.
Andrew's okay. He's just been busy in the evenings.
uh, Sam, yeah, uh, Dean Daughters, the electronic sounds loops. There's a link in my description of all my videos. If you go down to the bottom, you can go and check out Dean's uh, loops. This is just a few of them. There's literally hundreds and probably thousands. Of brilliant. Really, really good. Um, just very cool. Yeah, no worries. They're in the, it's in the link of all my videos for Dean's uh, different sample packs and stuff, you know. And they're not mega expensive neither, so that, that's really good. But he's done, you know, he really works hard to get them absolutely bang on, so they just loop perfectly. <laughs> so, guys, yeah, basically, uh, yeah, that's about it, really. I mean, there's not really else a lot to show. It's extremely, extremely creative. I I like to just, yeah, I mean, that's that's the whole, the whole point of the app, I think, is for, like, the creative uh, jamming thing with it. You know, so you just you just load a load, put a load in. I mean, I, you you could jam all night, but there's no real point because that's what it does. But what we can do, let's solo the noir, which is a pretty strange. Strangely enough, these are Deans as well. So, uh, so you can pick anything really, and then start. Uh, yeah, for three ninety nine, it's 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 brilliant. So clear it. So like I said, you don't have to have it on. The saving scenes is real simple. Oh, I will say. Let's see. You only get two presets. You get one called ambience here, so you can check ambience and go load. Oh, I don't know if that works even. Ambience load. So this is one called Ambience. Need a bit of... And for each preset, there's a few different scenes. And this is another one, so... These have been reordered as well. We need the order. If you want to save your own kind of preset, right? So we'll just go with this and we'll go, okay, ooh, kiddie dookie, let's go save. Okay, well, oh, do you know what? How do we do that? User. Say. I'll just write, will it remember it now? Uh, we'll just call it test. Okay. So this one's called test, and there should be nothing in seam. Well, there is, actually, because we're over it and writing the preset. So we make adjustments like this, blah, 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 blah. And then you go back, and it, your adjustments have been remembered for your thing, sort of thing. And So they've all been saved. And so you can recall the scenes per preset. That's three ninety nine. It's incredible, isn't it, really? And, yeah, I've got it. To, if you're a patron, you can enter the comp for this two. I think we've got two codes because uh, Marek sent me th uh, three codes. Uh, and then we can just hit save, I guess. Save. Or maybe it just remembers it, you know. Let's go back to ambience. Load. It's a different one. Uh, go back to user. Go back to test. Go load. And let's see if it's remembered. I'm not sure it has, actually. Anyway. I mean, there's an easy way to do it, I guess. That that's that's probably it. So that's it, guys. Really, um, <clears throat> I think it's just fab value for the money.
favourite ones are obviously Comb Filter, which is just brilliant. Only because you can... The cool thing about the Comb Filter on this is because it's easy to... Because the thing is easy to play, if we unsolo this now and play the whole thing whatever you apply the comb filter to you can almost play the comb filter sort of thing so even this noise patch let's take that it's, it's almost like a theremin Crazy, crazy! Oh, it's super! Oh, it's th there's no it's there's no brains involved in this. That's why I'm demoing it. It's dead, dead easy, dead easy. This lazy, easy peasy, but it's such good fun. But you know, it's not like they're crappy effects. They're really, really nice. Especially, like I said, you know, it's kind of it's calling itself the creative lo-fi effects. And when you put the big crushes in and things like that, and the dirty, you know. I guess it's too, like tube saturation. It's just lush stuff. I enjoy uh, if uh, things like this immensely because they're easy. There's no, you know, there's no real, you don't have to think about performing with this. All you need to do is, is slap on some different loops or beats or whatever you want. Apply a koala effects to each channel and just have a blast. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just good fun. Great for DJs. I imagine for performance purposes, it's just awesome. Absolutely awesome. So, I'm looking forward to seeing more demos of the mood units. Will you be... Probably, I haven't... I, I haven't... Uh, I'll have to have a look. Is that another new update? Um, God, Rob keeps doing updates all the time, doesn't he? Yeah, I'll have to have a look, Colin. I won't be streaming tomorrow night. <clears throat> Because I don't stream on Wednesday evenings. Because Jacob streams on Wednesdays, and isn't he? It's a nice. I get it like a, a break in the middle of the week as well, so it's cool. But yeah, koala effects, awesome stuff. What should we do? Should we? Uh, should we uh, play play a track from the new Doug and Colin album? One we didn't play the other night. Which one should we play? Which one should we play, Colin? We'll have to play one that's your parts are completed in. Unless nobody wants to hear that, and then we can just finish, if you like, or, or whatever. Play some music, right. Okay, well, I don't want to... I've got to go and uh, go and sit down, uh, but I'll... Let's sit down. I'm sitting down now, but I've got to go and relax. My back's hurting me, but... I, only because I've been up, uh, up here all day uh, in the studio, in, installing software and stuff, and just I'm tidying up generally. But when I say tidy up, you know, I move stuff from one place to another. Uh, Horizons, cool beans, right. We're going to play your track called Horizon. Uh, have you finished? The, have I got the file for your additions to that? I can play Horizons. Horizons of Tomorrow. But I don't think I've got Colin's file for that. Unless he sent it me via email, of which case I'm <laughs> that's a bit... Maybe not. I mean, I can play Horizons if you want. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Anyway, I'm glad you enjoyed that. I'll just save that because that was pretty cool. Save session. Yes, I will. Thank you. This was actually from another session and it was completely different. It had all different effects. Look, see, and it had more stuff going on and things. And I thought this is really perfect for Koala. Absolutely brilliant. Right, okay, so let's see. So, you know, me and Colin have been working... Uh, uh perfectly the last couple of weeks on our upcoming cinematic cinematica it's called cinematica that's horizons funnily enough but that's the track i sent you uh let's see so as usual we like to keep you updated with what's going on and eventually we'll do a we'll do a live stream when the album's out in stereo and stuff 
Cinematica with Colin, you see, these are what we have finished. See, there is stuff still to go, but Colin's got most of this now. And I don't think he has the terrors coming yet, uh, or the whispers are coming today, which might end up being shipped to short part two. But we do have events from time, following shadows, uh, shifting the balance. We won't pay that, it's 10 minutes. Um, years ahead, so shipped to So I think following shadows then is the one, maybe, I guess. Um, yeah. It's... What? I played that the other night. I played events from time the other night. Um, right, okay, so we'll, we'll go with Following Shadows. So this is Following Shadows. Now, I haven't mixed this down yet, so this is my bit. There. My bit was done in the in uh, Cubase or Reason, or a mixture of both, Cubase and Reason. And then and then all exported, mixed down in them, and then exported into Cubase. It's, in which case, Cubase then goes off to Colin, and Colin adds all his bits here. So here is, uh, in mono, which so it won't sound brillo, um, here it is in mono, and um, this is called Following Shadows. None of my parts on this are wave state.
Okay, so yeah. So that's following shadows, not mixed yet. Um so what can we do next? What's the play, 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 play another one? Uh let's play Let's play events from time then, shall we? Shall we? But let's up shall I play Horizons? So I'm going to play Horizons. I'll play Horizons. I haven't this Colin's got this, but he hasn't sent it back to me yet. So he's still this but the it's quite interesting actually because you might be able to go back to this at some point um yeah it's a couple of cinematic you see the idea is he it's kind of like a cinem cinematic <laughs> horizons of tomorrow this is my bits and these are the bits these are the bits that have been pre-mixed in the on the desktop so all my parts on this album are all been done either in reason or cubase then mixed onto the ipad then Colin takes them and does. We'll put probably put loads of wave state on. So we've already put loads of wave state on. So slightly different working, but all is all ends up in the in the iPad. So this is what I've sent Colin. This is called Horizons of Tomorrow. So I'm really pleased with this. Actually, this drum groove I programmed this drum groove, um, and I'm really really pleased with it. <laughs> it's really cool. Anyway, no, I'm not really put koala effects over the top of that. Oof. Oof.
So, <clears throat> pretty much, pretty much the entire end part of this song, the entire, this section here, before that synth solo comes in, oh, but actually even with the synth solo, which I'm presuming Colin's guitar will, will go all over the front of that, and then um, that's pretty much all synth master one. Actually, there may be a bit of synth master 2.9, but that is mostly synth master one. As you heard that 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 that, that solo is uh, my favourite uh, arc thing. Uh, apart from the drums, which were which were programmed in cube bass. In Cubase, I programmed the drums in Cubase uh, with, I think, a groove agent. Um, then, the, I think, the drum pattern for this was then transferred over to Reason. The first part of this is this kind of stuff. That's Hallion 6. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Pad, uh, pad Shop uh, Brass, one of the brass patches, which is incredible. And then there is this. I, I, I studio strings. Uh, this is nearly all Hallion Six. The drums were programmed with Beat Anthology Two from UVI. And then this section, okay, this section is, yeah. From there to all this way to end is some eight Do instruments that I started playing with. Um, <clears throat> It's basically their free stuff, 8DO's free stuff, uh, which is really nice. There's one called Free Angels and Free Radicals and stuff like that. They're very, very, very cool. And then take kind of take off the... For this little tiny section, ro rolled off all low, lows. It's nice. Anyway, it gives that kind of tinkly kind of vibe, spacey vibe type thing. We'll, we, will, we will play Ship to Shore because I, you know, why not, eh? Give it another 10 minutes. So this is Ship to Shore <clears throat> with Colin. And this is the... So all these, all these, again, this first section is recorded and then bounced down from the desktop and then just audio in from, uh, you know, imported audio in. Make sure we get the right tempos and stuff like that. So... Um, That was weird, getting lots of noise. Um, yeah, so we'll play this, but it is ten minutes, guys. So honestly, if you want to go, <laughs> I would be offended. Well, I wouldn't be off I wouldn't be offended anyway. But uh, this is more. I don't know. There's this is ship to shore part one. My idea behind this was. Imagine <clears throat> now it, it was originally I thought. Oh, imagine if you were on a ship, a sailing ship. <clears throat> maybe a galleon or something, or even a cruise ship or whatever. It doesn't make, even matter about the time zone. But imagine, <coughs> excuse me, hang on just one sec. Imagine you were sending ship to shore messages, right? But no one was replying. There was just nobody there anymore. And you could also put this into context of, say, it was a spaceship and you were sending messages back to Earth. But no one was replying. There was nobody there. You were the only people left. That, to me, was a pretty cool idea. And, um, yeah, so this is the, the musical interpretation of that. So it's a bit strange. And also, The Whisperers Are Coming, which is another track, which may end up as being Ship to Shore Part 2. Yeah, because this is Ship to Shore Part 1. Anyway, here we go. This is pretty much 100% wave state, the whole thing.
Yeah, that was it. So I I I I, I dislike a, a choral bit. 
it's kind of, it's kind of like do what did I do? You know, did I they're sending out all these messages, signals, etc., etc., getting nothing back at all? Maybe they just decide to turn around and sail on. <laughs> Anyway, that was the Ship to Shore part one. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I've got an hour. Um, thank you very, 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 very much for joining us this evening where we took a look at Koala Effects for the first, uh, well, just over halfway, and then we did some music. Um, top job, very cool beans. Um, I shall see you all. Uh, I won't be streaming tomorrow evening, but uh, we'll be back to normal on Thursday, I think. And, uh, yeah. Ash, 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 thank you, sir. Well, we like sometimes do that, you know. Forget the app done. If you've kind of covered all the app in the first half an hour sort of thing, you can always try to play some music and stuff. Anyway, thank you very, very, very much for watching. Joe's cooking um, a pie tonight, homemade pie. So very nice. Well, if it, well, Jamie, the first half is, yeah, you can go back and watch the koala effects bit. Anyway. I'll let you say ta to each other as always for a, for a, for a, for a, a few minutes and, and I will see you very soon. ta -ra. Thanks for watching. Bye.